The Amazon Merchant Transport Utility, also known as AMTU, is a tool sellers can use to send and receive files and to receive reports from Amazon. AMTU is recommended for new sellers who don't have the technical resources to create APIs connected to the Amazon Marketplace Web Service, or MWS, and who want to start automating feeds to and from their seller accounts. AMTU supports high volume feed uploads, but it has an upper limit for report downloads. AMTU allows sellers to save XML or text files to a specified directory for sending to Amazon in batches, bypass the need to develop a separate web services transport layer, and download settlement and order reports from Amazon. Let's go over how to get started with AMTU. First, in order to avoid problems with MWS connections, please make sure your system meets the minimum requirements. AMTU is dependent on the Java platform, Standard Edition, 6.0, Development Kit Build 19 or higher in order to support the encryption needed. It's also highly recommended that you install AMTU on a local machine. Second, you must register for an Amazon MWS account. To do so, go to developer.amazonservices.com. Click Sign Up for MWS. Then click I want to access my Amazon seller account with MWS. Review and accept the Amazon MWS license agreement and click Next. The next page contains credentials required for configuring a seller account in AMTU. Additionally, you'll need the country in which the seller account is registered and a separate folder chosen on your local machine if you do not want to use the default directory selected by AMTU to store reports and files. Next, let's go over how to download and configure AMTU on your local machine. From the Seller Central homepage, search for AMTU. Choose Amazon Merchant Transport Utility from the results. Scroll down to the download section where you can find the platform specific versions of the AMTU software. Then click the download link for your machine's operating system. Once the download is complete, install the AMTU software onto your local machine. Enter your MWS credentials when prompted and complete your AMTU configuration. When installed properly on your local machine, AMTU will create two standard folders, logs and production. The logs folder contains the following files on your local machine. The audit log records every activity AMTU performs, such as uploading files, checking feed status, and downloading reports. The error log shows specific errors that occurred when AMTU attempted to perform activities highlighted in the audit log. The production folder contains the following subfolders. Failed, outgoing, processing reports, reports, sent, and temp. To avoid issues with uploading, drag and drop or save files to be uploaded into the outgoing folder. Files must be in a valid format, .txt for text tab delimited files or .xml for XML files. Note that a .xls file will not work with AMTU. There are a few timing issues to keep in mind when uploading the files. Valid files placed in the AMTU outgoing folder will be transmitted to Seller Central every two minutes by default. AMTU will also check and download available processing and order reports every two minutes. AMTU will check and download available settlement reports every five minutes. These highlighted events are scheduled to run at default intervals that you can configure in the Account Management tab within AMTU. If you do choose to update the default scheduled event intervals, keep in mind that this will impact the timing of your feed uploads. AMTU is built on top of MWS, which uses a leaky bucket queue to manage the timing of feeds. So what is a leaky bucket queue? MWS limits each seller account's internal feed dispatch queue to 10. You can choose a restore rate in your Seller Central account. Otherwise, there will be a different feed upload every two minutes. And that covers the basics of downloading and installing AMTU and how it works. For more information, visit AMTU in the Seller Central help pages. Thank you.